It's supposed to be a moment What good is being the one When you the only one that knows it Amen Listen up man I'm going to bring y'all One of the easiest Slasher builds to use One of the easiest Playmakers to use It's better than the Pierre Playmaker Which is just a, a nerfed um, Slashing Playmaker And um I'm basically bringing you a build that is built for great speed, great contact dunks, great shooting, great ISO, great dribbling, great breaking ankles, magnificent team player, and all of the above, man. And you're going to be able to um, cheese with the slashing. This is how exactly how I made him, and um, you guys should follow the layout. Um, I played with him on stream. My win percent is like a 96 um, I don't play too much, and then my win percent on 3v3 Pro-Am is like a 93 or something, and like my only loss is in the game and when people throw the game. But yeah, that's my win percent, you know, I play all my games live, people pull up on me. If I never streamed, I would have a 100 win percent, but hey, it is how it is. I'm isoing lockdowns consistently, rusty, dicking them, you know, really bad, but um, here's how you go. Now, with all of your point guard builds, for um future reference um tomorrow i'm gonna release a build all the best point guards for all y'all christmas noobs so y'all wait for that if um before you waste all your vc or whatever y'all christmas noobs or other niggas or whatever a lot of people ask me for my build but look here it go man you know you want to make a point guard that's how you get the most badges uh for um point guard builds and etc you know i'm left-handed you feel me um rocking the 34 and um here this is where you go right here you want to go with the playmaking and, and the three on everything. And by the way, play slashers can have a lot of defensive badges. Unlike a lot of other builds, for some reason they can. This is what you're going to want to go with for this particular play slasher, man. You feel me? Now look, I made a mistake and I made it like this. But I low-key wish I would have did this. Because then your vertical, once you're 99... Is going to be uh, 99 because if you guys didn't know once you're 95 it goes up one 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 like all your stats your physicals and all that and to get gym rat once you're grinding badges with him make sure you do it on five minute quarters so you can get as many games as possible they say if you do 45 games sim to the playoffs beat the playoffs and then um you get gym rat and you, I think you got to make sure you win, I believe. Someone clarify that down in the comments down below. But um, I think it's better to have a, a OD vertical. You feel me? So I would have went with this. And then basically the gym rat's going to add four to your speed. And then just being 99 is going to give you a 99 acceleration, 99 speed. It's going to happen no matter what. So I would have went with this instead of this. Because you're not going to make it to the 99. So I, I recommend this. And, um, yeah, here are the stats. Now we're going to take close shot to 86. Driving layup to 86. Driving dunk to, actually, <laughs> we going to make this, ho, uh, 88. <laughs> I'm tripping. 79. Now, look, you, you want to make it to where once you're 99 point nine on your overall you get plus five you want your drive and dunk to get 85 to get the all the best contact dunks once you unlock them once they stay on your player once you equip them and buy them very crucial and yeah then we're going to go down to post hook and we're going to make this 35 now you can either make standing dunk or post hook 31 i did post hook but i wish i would have did this it really doesn't matter to be honest but um yeah then you go max these, max these, max these, max these. Pass accuracy, you're gonna make that whole 94. Ball handle, 95, 27 playmaking badges. Very useful. Now you can lower this or whatever, but this is how I particularly made my build. Max perimeter, max lateral, max steal. Then I run maxed offensive rebound because i iso correct i don't use screens i don't need screens i'm the greatest i don't need screens you know if i could score by myself 
getting a three every play or dunking every play why do i need screens i don't i mean people who use screens they're not very good at the game they need every exploit to to overcome their opponents i can dick lockdowns i don't need a screen you know we advance but um yeah so i kick it out usually when i get tripled or doubled because people really can't check me haven't met one person that's been able to check me since the first 2k yes that's how long i've been playing because i'm the go god himself but um yeah so once i kick that hoe out um um sometimes people miss because of nervousness being on stream in front of thousands of people by the way follow me on twitch almost 100k followers um type done down in the comments below if you did already merry christmas to y'all but um i box out my guard and then i can get a board defensive boards i usually be running the break or i'll be waiting i don't be crashing down on boards but for offense a lot of people they put defense you know i don't know why um probably because they don't iso but even iso players i see make this mistake you should definitely i believe um max out offense or rebound because that's that's crucial man and then i brought this up to huh actually we're gonna lower the post fade to 74 so we can add more right here and this is how i exactly made him you can get more defensive badges because you might not even you might not even need all these playmaking badges but i just like to be sure just in case i'm trying to get extra ankles i'm trying to get you know run floor general and dimer if niggas is really but um this is how i particularly beat him built him you do need all those shooting badges you don't need them but it's better and um yeah so like this is how i got my dude built this is the this is the play slashing god swan you feel me and you we always make them burly we not no skinny dweebs we not no built we burly we want niggas to feel us comment down below if you're a part of the board burly academy man now look, I wanted to make them 6'6". Six, six. I make all my guys 6'6", six, six, and I forgot about that. The forgot about how it alters the physicals. By the way, 6'5", your stats don't drop off too much. But um, I wanted to make them 6'6", six, six, but your driving dunk goes down to a 78. You do not want that. You want to be able to unlock driving dunk 85 once you're 99.9, .9, and that is very important to get contact dunks, okay? Now... 6-5 that is where i went with it that is what i suggest um people always make these shorter players it's kind of dumb to me i don't know why you guys do it um yeah 6-5 is how i made them lowest weight <laughs> you know booster acceleration vertica wingspan made that hold the lowest so we we really a shooter so look we a layup god we a contact dunk god we are shooting God. So you know your, your three points gonna be in the 80s. Your midi gonna be high 80s. You gonna you even have a post fade. You got all that playmaking, all that defense. You looking you looking kind of godly. You know, I mean, if you really if you're actually good, you could max it out, to be honest, because then your ball handling a 91, your three point in midi. You can still green with this, bro. I I, I consistently green with like a, a 65-3 or a 53. But, I mean, if you're not very good at the game or you just don't want to deal with that, you know, because people are going to play off you since it says slash and playmaker. They want to see if you can shoot. But if you're like actually good at the game, you could do some um, max wingspan chaos. <laughs> I don't suggest that because a lot of y'all are bad, especially y'all Christmas noobs or default wingspan or you know but i i went ahead and went with this now listen very closely i got i'm i'm using the build i'm using the build okay i'm using slash and takeover i don't know what it is if it's i don't have the contact dunks unlock but i'm not getting my contact dunks bro so it's really pissing me off a lot of people say oh this is great 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 but honestly, bro, I wish I would have went with playmaking because I have not gotten no ankle breakers. Like, I got, you know, hella stuns, hella stuns. But I have not made anyone fall. And I've only seen people make people fall from using the playmaking badge. Now, I do not play a lot. So it's not like, you know, like, it's, it's like... But, hey, man, if I would have remade this dude... 
since I'm not getting my contact dunks, I would have put the playmaking badge. And um, because I like making people fall, but this is more of a YouTube thing. You don't really need this, you know, but this is more like for comp because you blow past them. You could blow past them with this too. And by the way, when you do get this badge, you can, um, when you do pass it out and shit, um, it's like a boosted dimer, by the way. So it, it boosts the dimer and they can hit easier. But yeah, um, definitely, bro, like, it's either they're they're all good um fades don't really work <laughs> so do not i mean you can i mean i guess but i went with the slashing i recommend playmaking if you're more of a fancy dude you like making people fall this i haven't been making people fall i ain't even been getting contact dunks i don't know i just been i just been dicking niggas paws but yeah Now we are going to test the build. I'm gonna show y'all my badge layout. Here's my badge layout, man. So, contact finisher. Oh, shh. Contact finisher, of course. Fancy footwork. Slithery, we do not need. Because slithery, it makes it, you know. I hear so much different stuff. Okay, I'm not okay, too okay, sure. Okay, 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 I've been okay, trying okay. Acrobat. First of all, these are the three most important you need, okay? These three right here. Contact, Fancy, and Pro Touch. Contact Finisher. You need Contact Finisher. Your dunks, your layups, all that stuff. Fancy what Footwork gives you the Mario Bunnies. You know, wah woo Um good layup timing pro touch it helps with the contact layups it's just slightly early slightly late you get a boost so that helps you with your contact layups and stuff somewhat because um you know um acrobat it says boost the ability to make layups that have a high degree of difficulty it says hop steps so you know when you hop step cheese and it say it's gonna come you know euros reverse blah 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 and you know I'm trying Acrobat. I don't really see a difference. I've been trying Giant Slayer. I haven't been seeing a difference, bro. I've been hearing you can dunk on people way more, make way more layups. But the thing is, like, once I dick someone, like, it's like, since I ISO, it's like, he don't even have time to get there, to be honest. Um, I don't know. I don't know. You could run this. They're saying this helps with contact dunks and um i know it definitely helps the percentage of it going like it says like you're covered so it's like less but i mean that could counteract these badges so i don't know it's between giant slayer or slithery finisher but i'm particularly using acrobat right now um just to try it out giant slayer was okay um slithery finisher that's where i usually got my most contact dunks i'm not too sure but um my shooting badges y'all definitely are going to want to look into, bro, because I run definitely different shooting badges than anyone, and I am the greatest. Now, you are going to want to max these out. Now, look, on a play slasher, bro, you guys don't know this. Um, I talked to 2K Lab, they sell. Green Machine is one of the most overrated badges in the game. Unless you just run behind screens and just shoot all day. Like, if you're... Let me bring up some players that play like this. Um... Tyceno, for instance, you know, he's just fading and shooting. He's shooting hella threes or hella. He's shooting a lot of game, right? But if you're isoing like me, you don't need this. Like, I max, I'm shooting like three a game with this particular build. You feel me? So why would I put on a badge for it to activate? It takes three consecutive greens. That that's what 2K Lab told me. So on the fourth shot. This is what he told me. You know, that's when it activates. There's no need for Green Machine, bro. Now, Deadeye, again, there's no need for this. You can make those shots, bro. Like, the 20%, the 10%, you don't, like, I, I have not seen no boost in this hoe at all. There's no point of it. Difficult shots is ass. Um, Volume Shooter, I've been running Volume Shooter, but I don't really see nothing with it. Now, here's one of my secrets, bro. I run catch and shoot because a lot of people play off of me because of the name of my build and just me. They want me to shoot because they know they cannot stop me. Sometimes they play off and I could just do a reset pass. He passed it right back. Green. You feel me? And then, you know, like 
on the breaks i could be running hit a nice position green that catch and shoot definitely helps you um a lot of people underestimate how valuable catch and shoot is for guard builds like they think oh i'm not a sharp i'm not a spot up i'm telling you bro that is a good badge to have now i don't run it on gold i run it on bronze i believe and i run clutch shooter on silver and wait what what else do i run uh oh yeah i've been running volume shooter on gold because i do be taking a fair amount of shots you know um but i don't know if this is messing with my shooting or what they say this is not like the 2k16 version and that uh it's supposed to just the more you take miss or make it's supposed to help you out clutch shooter i believe activates after 12 points the game don't have to be tight or nothing but you get a boost to your clutch shooter now you could make this and then make this gold man clutch shooter bro it pop up you feel me that whole pop up after 12 so that's a big boost you could run it like this or you could run it like this or you could run it like this and this currently what i'm testing out right now is this and um you know check it out let me know how it is i, I recommend this for slasher builds and stuff and then i see a lot of y'all corner builds y'all be rocking green machine bro you're not you're not shooting three consecutive greens like that like it's, it's just dumb to me there's like no point it's like not never getting used and um playmaking now you 100 need this 100 need this 100% need this I'm not too sure about this but I run it on Hall of Fame you 100% need this you stun them every time you do the um behind the back by the way like every single time <laughs> well not every single time and then I run space creator you can get a lot of snatchbacks um ankle breakers and stuns and stuff and get them doing all types of crazy stuff now if you play with if you're playing with bad people you can run floor general on gold or you can have it like this and then run this and then your, your teammates really not missing. If they missing with this, they are ass, bro. Now, bailout is an amazing badge. Here's how I'm particularly running my badges. Um, You can, for instance, like for instance, you could just drive, hold square, and then just pass out. And a lot of people, they'll, they'll get way off their man because they're not expecting for you to pass out. Like you can act like you're about to shoot and then they'll go for the rebound and then just pass out it's i wish this was not in the game but it is and yeah man these are my particular badges that i'll be running on my slash and playmaker yep 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 and on defense i run clamps on gold one of the best defensive badges in the game um you definitely do not want to run this on bronze or you would get blown by past all the time you do not want that um I run Intimidator on Bronze. That's basically like all you really need. Um, Pick Dodger. I think it's silver for you to not actually get brick walled and fall on the ground. But I run it on Bronze. I think that's what I'm going to do right now. And uh, Rebound Chaser, I run on silver. Because y'all know after like I'm driving and... Um, my guys shoot the ball i like to box out and get the rebound no one's boarding over me especially the dude guarding me you're not boarding over me this is what i run right now and i think this is pretty goaded man i think i have a, a definite difference of other players and that gives me a slight advantage over people but this is how you do it man y'all write my build down in the comment section below let me know how you made your slash and playmaker um i don't know bro and um <laughs> let me know how many christmas noobs you've seen make sure y'all subscribe if you are new turn on post notifications don't forget to like my shit um comment on the video because that's what regular people do are you a regular person type second to none down in the comment section if you made it this far follow me on twitch drink a gallon of water a day go to the gym seven days days a week and um follow me on twitter bro and all my other social media. I love all you guys.